Kamal, this high concentration surge of Saharan dust, the highest we've seen for 2022 to date, to move across the Lesser Antilles or near us, will stick around at least until Thursday with concentrations gradually diminishing. Now, over the next 24 to 36 hours, so that's Tuesday into Wednesday morning, that's when we expect peak concentrations to occur. And so with that, we expect air quality to degrade between moderate to levels that are unhealthy for sensitive groups. So sensitive groups, that means the elderly, children, and those with cardiovascular ailments should take the necessary precautions by staying indoors and keeping necessary medications with you and keeping it handy. Now, we also have a couple of other things affecting us this week. Uh, an, an anomalously strong high pressure system that is across the Western Atlantic will be flexing its muscles across the Lesser Antilles for us. And that means we will be seeing some very windy conditions by midweek, so from Tuesday evening into Thursday morning, with peak winds expected on Wednesday. And that will be agitating seas as well as exacerbating bushfires that are already ongoing across Trinidad. We have one more thing affecting us too, a weak low level trough that is moving across Trinidad and Tobago tonight, but all of the showers and cloudiness will be coming in on Tuesday and Wednesday, even with that Saharan dust and high pressure system, which both usually bring stable conditions. So looking at the forecast for us overnight tonight, we're starting off relatively clear, cool, but we will see cloudiness increase with one or two isolated showers as well as hazy conditions. Now, minimum low temperatures relatively mild tonight in the low 20s, around 23 degrees, both in Trinidad and Tobago. And for tomorrow, variably cloudy across the entire country with very hazy conditions as well. And breezy conditions will be picking up as we head into the evening and those maximum high temperatures around 31 degrees, both here in Trinidad and Tobago. But we will be seeing brisk showers move across both islands through the day with no significant rainfall expected. Now for mariners, a lot of the hazards are here right now with waves in open waters up to three meters. So that's rough seas and in sheltered areas near one meter and choppy. We have some swells affecting the islands as well and spring tides so that's some of the highest high tides and lowest low tides. And that usually happens twice a month when we have a full moon. Full moon's also expected on Wednesday. So we have a lot going on in the atmosphere and out at sea this week. So if you're heading to the beaches, take all necessary precautions, follow the advice of lifeguards, same goes for you too, small craft operators. Now, what to expect for your day tomorrow? Starting off hazy, breezy, relatively mild, with low temperatures around 22 to 23 degrees. Getting up to temperatures around 31 degrees, both here in Trinidad and Tobago, with variably cloudy conditions persisting across both Trinidad and Tobago into Wednesday, and those hazy conditions persist as well. So sensitive groups take all necessary precautions and consider this your warning to protect your plants as those winds pick up. Back to you, Kamal.